hello everybody and welcome back to my channel i told y'all i had some more videos for y'all this week but let me get into the subscribers welcome to all of you thank you so much for subscribing and for my day ones of course welcome back in this video i'm going to be working on an abstract nail design i got the idea off a picture that i seen on pinterest so I figured I would try it out. I did all of my prep work off camera, my buffing and filing. So now I'm going in with my French Chip White Gel Polish. And I'm gonna do all 10 nails this color. I will be going back over a few of these nails with a green gel polish, but I still want it to have a white base color because it'll make my lighter green color pop i will not have to do too many coats of it this is the gel polish that i will be using it's called shine bright by dnd and i'm gonna really quickly go ahead and do my thumb ring and pinky finger for both hands i'm gonna paint them both this color this is what the nails are looking like so far and these are the other gel polishes that i will be using to create this design i've always loved abstract nail designs but i always thought it was so hard because the lines seemed like they had to be perfect and squares and triangles and all of that it just seems so complicated but i say you know what i'm gonna try it and surprisingly it came out really well. I'm so happy that I did. I think the key to these designs is to just be spontaneous, to have fun, be random, which is difficult for me because I'm the type of person who likes to plan everything and know exactly what I'm going to do. But I decided to let it go on this design and just do whatever came natural i think one of the main keys to achieving this look is to get you a great detail brush and to be as steady as possible when outlining your colors it really doesn't matter what the colors are looking like because when you add the black line to it it's going to make it straight even if it wasn't before I hope that made sense. Here I'm just making some random lines and then I'm going to get my dotting tool and I'm going to put some dots on the other side and it's going to bring the whole look together. I forgot to mention earlier that I do cure my my nails in between the different color gel polishes before I tried it without curing it but my colors started bleeding together and it was just a mess so make sure if you do decide to try this design that you cure your nails in between each color and here you can see a little bit better what I was talking about before my colors aren't completely straight. These lines that I'm doing right now aren't completely straight. But when I go in and outline it, and I do my outline straight, you're gonna cover all the imperfections. So don't spend too much time trying to get these completely straight. Just worry about the outlines. One of my bristles came out of my brush and I wasn't able to pick it back up with the brush so I had to wipe it off with my finger. So I just went in with a sponge to clean it up. And this is another reason why it's good to cure in between colors because if that pink was not cured, it would have messed up the whole design. I 
feel like I've been gone for a good little minute when making these videos, y'all. But, um, update me. Let me know what you guys have been up to. Me, personally, I decided to start me an herb garden. And I'm super excited about it. For the longest, I stayed away from plants and things like that. Because I felt like I just, I just ended up killing them. But, I'm trying something new. And I really like herbs. I'm tired of buying them. So, I started my own garden. But I'll keep y'all updated. Back to this design, though. I have no idea what I was doing here. But I knew what kind of effect I was going for. Kind of like a spiral um, staircase. But it's not perfect. It, but it ended up cute. So, I don't even care. I'm going to get my dotting tool. And I'm going to go back in and put a couple more dots. So, that it'll match the other nail. And then moving on. I'm doing the other two white nails the same as I did for the other hand, except I'm changing the dominant color from the pink to like the blue. And that's, it's pretty much the same concept, just being random and finishing it up with an outline. So I was almost done with these nails going in with my top gel polish and then I smeared my design. But I fixed it. I just got an alcohol prep pad, I wiped it down and then I went over what was smeared and I did not have to do redo the entire nail, thank God. After curing the top coat, I just shaped up my nails a little bit, and this is what they're looking like. Very summery, very bright. If you're into bright colors, you might want to try this. And this is also the same exact set that I did earlier, just in a shorter length. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching, and I'll catch you in the next one.